Hi there. You're in the lab with your mate, JJ. Today we begin our Maxitronics uh, XM1 projects uh, feature. This is the introductory video for the 10-in-1 Maxitronics Electronic Project Lab. Uh, we're just going to have a look uh, at the board and the manual and uh, take stock of what it is we'll be doing in the following 10 videos as we work our way through the, the 10 projects in this kit. So let's pop you over to the bench and let's have a look at this thing. So there it is, the 10-in-1 Electronic Project Lab. Safe, solderless, exciting, educational, and fun. Easy to read, illustrated, operating manual included. All in one, 10 electronic project experiments. A great introduction to the world of advanced electronics. Spring coil connections make it safe and easy for operation. Learn and build 10 exciting electronic experiments safely and easily. Quick, easy, and safe to learn the basics of electronics. No tool or soldering required. Learn as you perform 10 exciting experiments involving Morse code, burglar alarm, and radio. So there it is. Now this box has been opened before. Um, so um, what we won't find inside is the uh, the wires, the wires that comes with the um, various sizes and they're color coded. So this white one's an example of the small wire that they give you. This red one's a bit more medium size and there's a couple that are larger than that as well. Um, I keep those all over there in the booth, which we'll be uh, <coughs> working in later. Not today though, today we're just gonna have a, a review of the manual um, and uh, in the next video, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll pop over to the booth to make the first project. So uh, yeah, this is the, the, um, the board itself. It's uh, made from plastic and this is just cardboard here. Uh, it's got its various components. <coughs> Um, uh, soldered or connected to the to the spring terminal, so you, you just um, use the spring terminals to uh, to connect wires in, in, in this sort of fashion. So that's what we'll be doing as we put the uh, projects together. Let's have a look quickly at the manual. So this says much the same as it said on the outside of the box. The Maxitronics Electronic Lab Owner's Manual 10 in 1 Electronic Project Lab. Safe, solderless, exciting, educational, and fun. <clears throat> Easy to read, illustrating, operating manual included. All in one 10 electronic project experiments. And then the, the, the thing's the same as I read earlier on the front of the board. So uh, let's have a look at the, at the introduction uh, in the manual. So uh, it's called the MX802 10-in-1 Electronic Project Lab. The 10 projects in this versatile 10-in-1 electronic project can, kit contain the very exciting fields of <coughs> electricity and electronics. This manual describes 10 different projects you can build with this kit. You don't need special skill or equipment. You can easily build the electronic circuits for all 10 projects without tools or soldering. All of these interesting projects, which have been designed to acquaint you with basic electronic theory, really work. The, os the circuits include radio receivers, Morse code oscillators, a continuous wave transmitter and audio oscillator applications such as a burglar alarm and patrol car siren. If you've experimented with the circuits described in this manual, you will find other applications for the same basic components. The more you learn from this kit, the more you'll be able to do. Get ready for many hours of fun. You will find the world of electronics fascinating and rewarding. Then there's a list of projects. Project 1, Morse code by light. Project 2, Morse code oscillator. Project 3, diode experiment. Project 4, Diode Radio. Project 5, One Transistor Radio. Project 6, One Transistor Radio with Diode. Project 7, Wireless CW Transmitter. Project 8, Patrol Car Siren. Project 9, Audio Frequency Oscillator. Project 10, Burglar Alarm. So that's our 10 projects. This is copyright 2001 Maxitronics Enterprise Limited. Maxi Maxitronics Lab is a registered trademark of Maxitronics Enterprise Limited. Parts used in this kit. This kit contains up-to-date solid-state electronic parts, including a transistor, diode, variable, slash tuning capacitor, and bar antenna, iron core choke, slash coil, earphone, code key, resistors, and capacitors. These parts are described below for your information. Bar antenna. The bar antenna consists of a ferrite core around which a coil of wire is round. The antenna coil is used with the variable capacitor for tuning radio frequency signals. Transistor. The transistor contains three elements, the base, emitter, and collector, in which current can be made to flow. The transistor in this kit is an NPN type, which is used to amplify current. Diode. The diode used, the diode used in this kit is a germanium type that is used as a detector in radio receivers. One of the projects in this kit demonstrates how a diode operates. Capacitor. Capacitors consist of two conducting plates separated by an insulating plate made from an insulating material. Capacitors are used to store electrical charges. The capacitors used in this kit are rated in microfarads and picofarads. Resistor. Resistors are made out of material that resists current flow. Resistors in this kit are rated in kilo ohms, meaning thousands of ohms. Earphone. Earphones change electricity. <coughs> sorry. Earphones change electrical energy of audio frequency into sound. The earphone in this kit is a high impedance crystal type. Low impedance type earphones will not work in these projects. Transformer. A transformer consists of one or more coils wound on an iron core. It is used in this kit to develop audio voltages from the audio current supplied by the transistor. Key. The key is actually a switch, which is closed when it is pressed down. The keys are used to turn on or off audio tones or RF signals smoothly when transmitting Morse code, dots and dashes that represent letters and numbers. The International Morse Code is shown in the last page of this manual. How to use this kit. There are 10 projects in this kit that can be constructed one at a time. To construct any project, pull out the kit on a flat surface where you have room to put the components together. 
Now use the pieces of hookup wire supplied with this kit to wire up the particular project you want to construct following the heavy black lines shown on the corresponding wiring diagrams for that project. See the wiring instructions below. Attach the 9 volt battery clip to a fresh 9 volt battery, then push <coughs> the battery into the battery holder mounted on the paper panel. Important. To conserve battery power, remove the clip from the 9 volt battery when it is not being used. Wiring instructions. Most of the parts in this kit are pre-mounted on the paper panel and their leads are connected to the spring terminals under the paper panel. The hookup wires in this kit are supplied in different lengths to fit between different spring terminals. Be sure to follow the printed heavy black wire connections carefully and correctly. To connect a wire to a spring terminal on this kit, first bend the spring to the side and insert the bare end of the wire into the spring and bend it around to make good contact, then release the spring. The bare wire must be tightly connected against the spring. If you have to attach a second wire to the same spring, bend the spring to the opposite direction when inserting the wire. This way, the first wire won't fall out and remains in good contact. An earphone is provided in this kit. If the circuit calls for an earphone, simply connect the two ends of the earphone to the earphone terminals. A long length of wire is included in this kit for use as an antenna. When an antenna is required, connect one end of this wire to the antenna terminal and spread out the wire for best reception. If a ground connection is required, cut off a piece of wire and connect it between the ground terminal and a cold water metal pipe. Be sure to scrape off any paint or dirt from the ground metal pipe before wrapping about six inches of bare wire around it. Circuit descriptions. Ten projects you can build <coughs> with this kit are described in this manual. A schematic diagram, which is an electrical blueprint, is shown for each circuit and useful information is provided to help you learn the basic knowledge of electronics. Then there's circuit number one, Morse code by light. Circuit number two, Morse code oscillator. Circuit number three, diode experiment. Circuit number four, diode radio. Circuit number five, one transistor radio. Circuit number six, one transistor radio with diode. Circuit number seven, wireless CW transmitter. And I'm just having trouble opening the pages here. And they're really stuck in there. Uh, circuit number eight, patrol car siren. Circuit number nine, audio frequency oscillator. And circuit number 10, burglar alarm. <sighs> then there's a, uh, an introduction to Morse code. International Morse code. The international Morse code is shown below. <clears throat> It revolutionized communication in the 19th century. Before the use of electrical current to send information, messages could be delivered no faster than the fastest horse. In 1836, Samuel Morse, a successful portrait painter and inventor, was the first to demonstrate how messages could be sent over wires using a telegraph. The message was sent out by tapping a special code for each letter of the message. Short signals were used to represent dots and long signals to represent dashes. To use Morse code properly, the message sender has to allow for precise intervals of time between dots and dashes and between letters and words. When you practice the code, be sure to use the following units of time. Dots, one unit of time. Dashes, three units of time. Pause between letters, three units of time. Pause between words, seven units of time. This is copyright 2001, Maxitronics Enterprise Limited. <clears throat> and this, this was re re reviewed in 2004, January, revision one. There you go. And on the back, they've got a little bit of information about the company. Uh, I expect this is all well out of date by now. The experiments in this kit are designed to comply with the FCC rules as long as you follow the instructions and use only the components and materials supplied with this kit. Maxitronic Enterprise Limited, Taipei, Taiwan. They've got some old email addresses, and their homepage was www.maxitronics.com. I'll, uh, I'll have a look and see if, uh, if that's still there or, or what we can see of it in archive.org. So that concludes the introduction to the 10-in-1 Electronics Project Lab. In the next video, uh, we will do the first project. So if you're interested in that, make sure you subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.